Hi guys! Welcome to our video and today pag-uusapan naman natin yung pangalawang method in solving material balances involving reaction. So the first method was extent of reaction method and now itong elemental or atomic balance method. Okay? So let's go to the example right away. Kasi ang concept lang naman ng elemental material balances is that you just have to understand or remember that elements in a process are conserved. Okay? So in other words, para ka lang namang nag material balances na parang walang reaction kasi yung bawat atom yung binabalance mo. So in this example, we have a reactor and the feed to it is C8H18, so that's octane, okay? and then hydrogen gas. And it will undergo a reaction which is probably a type of hydrocracking reaction because ang product na mga na-form ay iba't ibang klase ng hydrocarbon. So we have uh, uh, propane, we have butane, we have pentane. Okay? And we are given the composition of the product by mole. So ang gusto ko lang naman hanapin dito is yung mole ratio ng hydrogen sa octane. Okay? So, ano ang ating basis for this case? So, the basis is, ano ba yung known? So, it's actually the product composition. So, let's say 100 moles of product. Okay? So, kapag 100 moles yung product mo, if we will tabulate it here, so we have uh, C3H8, we have C4H10, and C5H12. Okay? So, in terms of moles, okay, kung 100 mole tayo, 19.5 yung C3H8, 59.4 moles yung C4H10, and 21.1 moles yung C5H12. Make sure that they add up to 100%, and they do. So, Wala namang ibang given, so punta na tayo dun sa mismong method natin, which is elemental balances. So pag sinabing elemental balance or atomic balance, you will balance it atom by atom. And the atoms here ay dalawa lang namang klase, carbon at hydrogen lang naman. So let's start with the carbon balance. Carbon balance, okay? Uh, okay. I should probably... Okay, scroll na lang tayo, okay? So, si carbon, carbon balance, uh, by the way, let's name first yung ating mga variable. So, gawin natin itong N1 kasi unknown siya. And this one is N2. Okay, so, yung idea ni carbon balance is that you have eight carbon atoms here, kay si H18. So, yung moles ni carbon will therefore be eight times N1. Okay? So, natindihan yun. You have one mole of C8H18 kasi. So for every one mole of C8H18, uh, you have 8 moles of carbon. Eh, unknown naman yung C8H18 moles natin. So, uh, just to simplify that, the amount in moles of carbon here is 8 times N1. Okay? So, N1 times 8. Okay? Now, Doon sa mga reactant natin, si C8H18 at H2, meron pa bang ibang carbons? Wala na. So, punta tayo doon sa right-hand side ng equation natin. Equate natin siya sa product. So, tignan mo lang yung carbon. Okay? Si carbon here, sa product, meron tayong C3H8. So, 3, okay? kasi C3. So, 3 times 19.5. Okay? So, 19.5 times the number of carbon atoms. Okay? Ito pala siya. Plus 59.4 times the number of carbon atoms dun sa pangalawa, which is butane. Plus 21.1 times the number of carbon atoms, which is 5, dun sa pentane. And in this equation here na nakikita ninyo, isa na lang unknown, which is N1. So therefore, N1 is equal to 50.2 moles of ano ba yung N1? C8H18. Tapos ang ating material balance. <laughs> no, no, then not entirely, but the first one. Okay. Uh, let's do the second one. Okay, which is the hydrogen balance. 
this will be the last kasi dalawa lang naman yung atom again dito sa atin. But you have an idea siguro kung ano yung kakalabasan ng N2 o yung amount ni hydrogen. Kasi uh, if you take a look at the product side, 100 moles yung basis natin. So dapat 100 moles din yung reactant, right? But anyway, just to show how it goes. So for hydrogen, okay, tandaan lang natin yung pinasok natin na hydrogen. Saan mga galing? Both kay CHH18 tsaka kay H2. So we have N1 times 18 plus N2 times uh, 2. Okay? N1 times 18 because 18 ang carbon or ang hydrogen rather dun sa CHH18 plus N2. Kasi we are referring now to the hydrogen gas H2. This one, right? N2 yan. Times ilan yung hydrogen atom sa kanya? Dalawa. Okay. Um, equals. Okay. Punta tayo sa product side. 19.5. Times ilan yung hydrogen atom dyan? Walo. Plus 59.4. Ilan yung hydrogen atoms dyan? Sampu. Plus finally 21.1. Ilan ang hydrogen atom? Labing dalawa. Okay. Ang anong dito? N1 and N2. Pero alam na natin ang N1 which is 50.2. Okay? So if you substitute N1 here, you will be able to find N2. And N2 is 49.8 moles of hydrogen which is not surprising again. Okay, so yan, kompleto na yung balance. Yung answer na lang. So ano ba yung hinahanap na answer? Diba we are after the mole ratio okay, of H2 over the other reactant. So 49.8 divided by 50.2. See, it's almost equal to Unity. Okay. So, kumbaga, 50-50 sila. So, for our next example for elemental or atomic balance method, we have here a reaction na dalawa. Okay, reaction 1 and reaction 2. So this is actually a series parallel reaction kasi yung isang product sa reaction 1 ay reactant sa reaction 2. Tapos parehong reaction, pareho din ng starting or ng reactant. Okay, so we have the reactor, feed and product. Okay, for the feed, dalawa lang ang given kasi dalawa lang naman yung starting Reactant, yung 250 moles ng C6H12 per hour and 800 moles of water per hour. Okay, so yung product, isusulat natin ngayon. So ano yung mga may expect nating product dito sa stream na yan? So of course, ano ba yung mga product dun sa reaction? Di ba meron tayong carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas. So CO, hydrogen gas, meron tayong C6H14. Tama ba? And then C6H12 ilalagay natin kasi you will expect na mayroon pa rin matitira. C6H12. And of course, expect natin na may matitira pang water. Okay. So let's name these variables. Okay. Gawin natin siyang N1, N2, N3, N4, and N5. Okay. Now, you're also given here that the yield of hydrogen is 40%. Okay? And also, the selectivity of hydrogen over the other product, which is 66H14, I12. So, pala, malamang si hydrogen ang ano dito, desired product. Maybe uh, it will be a valuable gas, no? Okay? Synthetic gas or uh, maybe gagamitin siya as a form of uh, fuel. Okay, so let's calculate the amount or the molar flow rates of each 
product component. So, pag sinabing molar flow rate, ang unit niya is moles per unit of time. Okay? So, ano ang ating basis? So, the basis here will be Uh, a good one will be one hour of operation. Diba? Kasi, given ka nung feed, okay, which is given yung kanilang molar flow rate. Right? So we have 250 moles per hour to 800 moles per hour. Okay. So let's sort of tabulate that. So we have the feed C six H twelve and water. Moles is two fifty moles na lang siya. Kasi kanina two fifty moles per hour. Ngayon two fifty moles na lang kasi nag basis na tayo ng one hour operation. And then it hundred kay water. Okay. Now Dalawa yung iyong reactant. So, kailangan natin malaman ang determine the limiting reagent. Okay, how? Again, let's compare the stoichiometric availability or the relationship sa stoichiometry nila versus yung availability. Okay, so if we do water over C6H12, Uh, according to the stoichiometry, kung babalikan lang natin sa glit, where are you? Ayun no. 6 is to 1. Okay? So 6 is to 1 yung kanilang stoichiometry. But for the availability given yan, so 800 divided by 250. So anong sagot? 3.2 over 1. In other words, Kung anim ang kailangan na water sa stoichiometry per mole of C6H12 and ang given is, or available is 3.2 lang, water therefore is the limiting reactant. Okay, now, before we go to the method of atomic balance, meron tayong given na yield. So we have yield of the hydrogen gas. Okay. Ah, paano nga ba mag-compute ng yield? So, ang yield kasi is 40% or 0.4. Okay? Now, remember, paano ba ang yield? 0.4 or yield is equal to what? Diba, yun yung obtain divided by theoretical. So, how much hydrogen gas is obtained? We don't know. Yun yung hinahanap natin, isa sa mga hinahanap. And ang symbol natin sa kanya in our flow sheet, if you remember, is N2. Okay? Divided by um, the theoretical. So, paano yung theoretical? Eh, given naman yung... So, ang pinag-usapan natin is yield ng hydrogen gas, right? How do we obtain the theoretical moles of Hydrogen gas. Okay? Yung theoretically or maximum theoretical na ma-obtain natin na amount ni hydrogen gas. Well, we know the amount of water, right? So, you will relate water kasi meron naman tayong stoichiometry na 6 is to 12. Bakit water? But hindi si 6 h to Kasi nga, water is the limiting reactant. Okay? So, let's do that. Okay, so again, N2 or the numerator is the actual. Ang theoretical is, kukunin pa lang natin, 800 yung water, relationship ni water, at si hydrogen gas is 6, I'm sorry, 12 is to 6. Twelve is to 
Okay. So computing for N2. You'll get 640. So, by just utilizing the yield coefficient, or yung given na yield nga, nakuha na kaagad natin yung moles ni hydrogen gas. Okay? Now, si selectivity naman tayo. Si selectivity... 12 yung kanyang value according to the problem. Okay? Now, selectivity na given is yung selectivity for uh, isulat na lang natin. Ang given na selectivity ay hydrogen gas over C6H14. Okay? Which is si hydrogen gas N2, di ba? According to our product composition unknown. Si C6H14, if you go back do sa taas, yung flow chart natin, entry naman. Teka, dalawa yung unknown. Pero remember, N2 is already calculated here. So therefore, N3 is equal to 53.33 moles of C6 H14. Okay. So, dalawa na agad yung ating nakuha. Okay. Which are si N2 tsaka si N3. So, tatlong ano na lang. N1, N4, N5. And dyan na ipapasok C, atomic balance. Let me probably copy this. Para hindi tayo masyadong mag-scroll. Yeah, it worked. Yun. Okay. So, I successfully copied. Now, let's go to your atomic balance. Okay. So, Ilan ang ating atoms dito sa ating system? Tatlo, we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So for carbon balance, unay natin siya. Okay. Um, ito, 250 moles. Times ilan yung carbon atoms dyan? Anim. Okay. Eh, wala namang carbon dun sa water, so wala na yan. Equals na tayo agad. Equals. Um, N1, okay, times ilan yung carbon atoms sa carbon monoxide, isa lang. Saan pa makikita yung unknown? Si, uh, N3, right? So, N3 times 6 carbon atoms dun sa C6H14 plus N4 times 6 carbon atoms sa C6H12. Okay? Now, let's simplify this. 250 times 6 is 1... 1... Uh, magano? 250 times 6 is 1, 5. Pero remember, N3, we have that already. Okay? N3 is... Nasa nasa N3? Ayun o. 53.3. So if we want to simplify this equation, ang pinaka simplified form wherein na substitute na natin yung kay N3, so ang lalabas, it will become 1,180.2 equals N1 plus 6N4. So dalawang unknown. Okay? Tawagin natin siyang equation 1. 
hydrogen balance. Two fifty times twelve hydrogen atoms. Sanyan, ba kanina? Two fifty. Labing dalawa yung hydrogen atoms. San pa makita si hydrogen? Kaya water. Dalawa times eight hundred. Okay, so plus eight hundred times two. Okay, equals. Looking at the product side. Kay carbon monoxide wala. Okay, ito kay ano? What? Kay H two. N two times two. Kasi N two times dalawang hydrogen atoms. So N two times two. So, gawin ko na lang 2N2, ha? Plus, ano pa? Saan pa may hydrogen? Ito, may hydrogen dyan, 14 times N3, plus may hydrogen dito, 12 times N4. And may hydrogen din dito, 2 times N5. So, let me write all of that. Medyo mahaba siya. 14 N3 plus 12 N4 plus 2 N5. Dumadami ata yung unknown natin. Pero huwag kayong maglala kasi kanina, di ba, meron tayong N3. Meron din naman tayo kaninang N2. So we can substitute that. Okay, so ito yung N2. Ito yung N3. We have known values for them. So mas masasimplify yung ating equation. So I'll write already the simplified one. Ang hydrogen balance natin is magiging 2573.38. Equals 12 N4 plus 2 N5. Dalawa na yung ating equation. But look at our equations. Equation 1, N1 and N4, ang unknown. Equation 2, N4, N5. So nagdagdagan ng isa yung unknown natin. Total of 3 ang unknowns na natin. Okay? 3 remaining unknowns. E dalawa yung equation. So... Kailan natin ng isa pang equation should be three equations for three unknowns. So natin hugutin yung pangatlong equation. Eh, we are done with carbon balance. We are done with uh, hydrogen balance. So of course, yung natitit ng atom natin is si oxygen. So we'll make oxygen balance. Okay, so saan makakita si oxygen? Okay, balikan natin. Ayan no? na kay water lang siya. And we only have one oxygen atom for water, so that's 800 times 1. Okay, so 800 times 1. Equals? Saan pa? Punta natin yung product side. Sorry for too much scrolling. Si oxygen ay makita lang sa CO2 tsaka kay water. Okay? So N1 plus N5. So this is our third equation. Okay, so solving those three equations simultaneously, you will eventually will be able to calculate N4, N1, and N5. So N4 is 138.89 moles Okay, of C6, H12, kapag ibabalik natin doon sa base na per hour operation, so per hour. And C N1 is 3216.68 moles of, ano mga ba yun? CO per hour. 